we are the people of Argos. I am Jonathan. And my name is Jarvis. We are going to be telling you about the facts of our government and how we are better. So listen up close, people. All right? Argos is, lo is located in Greece, found by a guy named Promonius. We are also known as the Argives. Our government was known as a monarchy. We wasn't free that much, but later on, we became a democracy. Our women had basically had no rights at all. They couldn't take many jobs or they couldn't vote. Our education consisted mostly of men. By the age of six, they started school and was taught math, art, and science. By the time they were 18, they went out for about two years of military. And women, they had to stay at home with their mothers and they learned the daily house routines and chores. We were also very involved in theater and also boasted about having the Hellenistic theater. We also had a very famous poet slash artist named Telesia. We were also a major military battle having defeated Sparta at the Battle of Champions in High Sea. We were also very involved in sports such as horse racing and wrestling. We were also involved in, in the Olympics. Argos probably had the biggest trade power in ancient Greece. At one point, Athens and Sparta even asked for our resources when theirs had run out from their constant quarreling. Our God also played a major role in mythology. Our patient goddess was Hera. It was also the birthplace and kingdom of Perseus. It was also the hometown of Jason Argonauts. Hello, we are the people of Argos. I am Proditus, and this is... Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> I am Proditus! <laughs> from Argos are usually called Argives, and due to the fact that Argives still exist to the day, that pretty much makes us more of a better city-state. I don't know why I see it. I call it moment. And Argos probably had the biggest trade power in ancient Greece. Oh, it's right. He waits, see? 